And here is some real He-Man beef on the hook. The powerful Minnesota 1937 football team, former national football champions, as they enter Nebraska's Memorial Stadium field to do battle with Nebraska's Cornhuskers. Another thundering herd, the fast-charging, powerful Nebraska line, the 1936 Big Six champions, and the speedy Nebraska backfield. Johnny Howell, Cornhusker quarterback Deluxe, who has developed into a real triple threat back and one of the nation's smartest free generals. Center Charlie Brock, who bids fair to become one of the greatest Cornhusker linemen of all time. Charlie is endowed with the four great essentials, size, speed, intelligence, and football intuition. Coaches, officials, and radio announcers confer before the game. At left in leather jacket is Ted Husey, famed radio sports announcer. Coach Bernie Behrman of Minnesota, who ranks as number one coach in the United States. And Coach Biff Jones of Nebraska. The game starts with Nebraska kicking off to Minnesota. Note that the Nebraska team wear a white helmet. Urim receives the ball and returns to Minnesota's 37-yard line. Fullback Bueller hits Nebraska's line for a small game. Dimitro carries for the Gophers and gains 10 yards. The Nebraska line now occasionally shows signs of stiffening. Andy Urim fades back to pass, then decides to run and makes a small game. Dimitro makes it a first down on the Nebraska 38-yard line. Urim on a reverse play behind good blocking goes 28 yards to the Cornhusker 10-yard line. Bueller goes over left guard for three more yards. On the next play, Nebraska's fast charging line throws Demetro for an eight-yard loss. Urim now fades back and throws a pass over the goal line to quarterback Spadacini for a Minnesota touchdown. Durham misses a kick for goal. Nebraska's ball. Dodd picks up two yards. Howell punts to the Minnesota 40-yard line where Urim receives and is immediately smothered under an avalanche of Nebraska players. Urim on a fake Statue of Liberty play loses four yards. The Cornhuskers have their dander up now. Dimitro gains five yards off tackle. Urim fakes a pass, then decides to run, but he doesn't go far. Urim now really intends to pass, but is thrown for an 11-yard loss. Fullback Bueller now hits the line for a small game. Now Urim really does pass, but it is intercepted by the alert Zach God, who rattles it to Phelps, who in turn rattles to Brock, for a game to Nebraska's 20-yard line. Second quarter, Nebraska's ball. Dodd is thrown for a loss. Jack Dodd on an end run, and behind good blocking, goes clear to the Minnesota's three-yard line. On the fourth down, Howell crashes the gopher line for a Nebraska touchdown. Reserves on the Cornhusker bench for a while as they realize what has just happened. English hits goal for Nebraska. Score Nebraska seven, Minnesota six. Minnesota's ball. Van Avery gains one yard. Nebraska's ball and they gain some yardage through right tackle. Minnesota's ball deep in their own territory. Van Avery passes. Nebraska's ball. Howell makes one of his accurate kicks for the coffin corner. The ball goes out inside the 20-yard line. Andrews now tries to run right in, but for no gain. Minnesota's ball and more goes almost for a first down. 
The first half is over. The sponsors of these films and manufacturers of Victor Flower, OK Wheat Flakes and Butternut Coffee, hope you are enjoying these pictures. Let's remember them on our next trip to our grocery. We are now in the third quarter. Minnesota's ball and sophomore fullback Christensen makes a spectacular gain behind good blocking to Nebraska's six-yard line. Now the can the Cornhusker line hold. Minnesota having gained three more, Urine tries again, but for no gain. Handy Andy again fails to gain. Urine now throws a pass and pulled back. McElravey intercepts for Nebraska. After a poor Nebraska kick, Minnesota gets the ball and makes a small game. Nebraska's line holds on the next play. After Minnesota had fumbled a punt, Nebraska recovered, but they make no gain on this play. The Cornhuskers make a gain at right end. Jack Dodd fails to gain on the next play. Now watch this one. Andrews fades back, then hurls the pass to fullback Callahan, who travels five yards for the second Nebraska touchdown. English again kicks goal. Final score, Nebraska 14, Minnesota 9. The game almost over, and with the ball in their possession, the Cornhuskers decide to play safe. Eldon McElravey, Nebraska fullback, the game's most serious casualty. 